Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. So this is the first video of trigger and test class scenarios playlist. So as per the demand of viewers, I'm creating this playlist so that if you have learned about the basics of trigger and test classes, so how you can implement scenarios based on them. Let's understand the first requirement. So here you can see a trigger scenario is written which is upon account record creation, if industry field is having value as media or energy, then we need to populate rating as hot. So industry and rating, both are fields. Those are available on account. These are standard fields. So whenever we create a new account record and uh, industry is having media or energy. So in the rating field, we need to populate value as hot. So we need to implement three things for this requirement. So first we need to create a trigger that will be on account. Then we need to implement trigger handler class where business logic will be implemented. Then if you want to implement the code coverage for the trigger and trigger handler class, so you need to implement test class as well. So I am going to demonstrate everything in this video. So let's jump to developer console. So those who already completed basics of trigger and test classes, they must know like how we can open the developer console. Still, if you're a beginner, so just click on this gear icon and from here you can open the developer console. So here we can implement all the code. It is inbuilt ID provided by Salesforce. So to accomplish the requirement, first I need to create a trigger. So to create a trigger, you need to click on file new and then select Apex trigger. So I'm creating it on account. So that is why I'm naming it as account trigger. Then here I'm selecting object as account and clicking on submit. So this way trigger file is created. Now here in trigger, we have seven events. So right now the requirement says we need to check this condition upon account record creation. It means we can have one of the event uh, from before, e before insert and after insert. So there are two events which are uh, available for insert. So we can either choose before or we can choose after. But for this requirement, I'm going to choose before insert because if you again read this requirement, so on account record creation, basis on the industry field, we need to populate rating as hot. So we are just focusing on the record through which your uh, trigger will be triggered. So in that case, we don't need to do any modification or updation in the related record. So if you are doing modification in the same record through which your trigger is triggered. So in that case, you can use before insert event. Now here, we can implement the business logic, but the best practice says always implement business logic in the handler class. So I'm going to create one class, naming it as account trigger handler. So best practice also says like you will be having only one trigger on one object and whatever business logic you have. So you can implement it in a trigger handler in separate functions and those functions you can call in the trigger, right? So here I'm going to write public static void update rating. And here I will be receiving list of accounts in the ACC list variable. So now I'm going to save this account trigger handler class. And I'm going to call it here. Right now, one more thing, whenever you create any record and your trigger is initiated. So those newly created record, whether you create one record or you create more than one records or maybe bulk record. So all those newly created records will be available in this context variable, which is known as trigger.new. So it is basically a list. It will be containing all the new records. So those new records with the help of this trigger.new, we are passing into this ACC list. 
we are we are going to implement all the business logic so i am going to save this now here i am going to apply a loop so loop is iterating on this account list so this account list will be having some records so one by one, each record will be available into this ACC variable. Now, what we need to do, we need to check whether this ACC industry is equals to media or industry is equals to energy. So we have two values, media or energy. So basis on that, we need to update the rating. So we can write ACC dot rating equals to hot. So this way condition is applied. So this is basically our business logic. So here you can see, uh, I have not implemented any DML. So if you want to update the same record upon its creation with the help of trigger, so you can use before insert event and uh, in this uh, business logic function, you don't need to write any DML because uh, this trigger will be executing before the record is saving to the database, right? So you don't need any DML, uh, rating will be updated automatically. So you can see account trigger is saved, account trigger handler is saved. Now, before implementing its test class, I just want you uh, to see like how we can test it from the UI. So if I go to UI and click on accounts tab, I'm going to create new account. And here I'm typing industry as energy. And at top you can see rating is none. So I'm going to save it. So I'm going to details and here you can see rating is odd. So it means this uh, code is working fine for single record. Now, uh, without implementation of test class, if you want to test it through code, right? So we have one more uh, way, like in this anonymous window, you can create bulk account records and then you can insert them. And uh, from the UI, you can check whether rating is uh, updated to hot or not. So for example, So I created account list, then I am iterating a loop. So I am creating five account records. So here account ACC equals to new account, then ACC dot name equals to test plus I, then ACC dot industry equals to energy and then what you can do you can add uh, these individual account records into list and then you can write insert acc list so this way you can insert bulk records and you can check whether your implemented code is working fine or not so i'm going to execute this code and now if i come here click on accounts tab so from list view, I'm selecting new this week. So these five records are created here. Now I'm going to add one field here. Uh, not one, actually two. One will be industry and another will be rating and save. So here you can see for these records, energy, is, sorry, industry is energy and rating is hot. And this is ACC 101 that we created from the UI. So this way uh, you can uh, test this uh, code uh, after creation of bulk records, right? So through single record as well as through bulk record creation, you can test. Now, if you want to implement its test class. So first of all, why test class implementation is important? Because if you implement this trigger in your sandbox environment, 
and if you want to deploy it to production environment so test class is required and at least 75 percent code coverage should be there so this i hope you have uh, already understood through my uh, test apex test uh, scenarios if you have not uh, understood that so you can go through with that first then only uh, you will be able to understand these scenarios so I'm going to create one Apex class. So its name will be account trigger handler test. So I'm clicking on OK. Right, so you need to uh, focus on the naming convention as well. So my trigger handler class name is account trigger handler. So if you want to create test class for this, so you can uh, name it like this, right? So that when you search for account trigger, so account trigger, it's handler and it's test class, both all, all things will be searched automatically. So if you uh, click on file and click on open resource. So here basically we search. So if you search like this account trigger, so you can see trigger, handler, trigger, handler, test, everything is available uh, here automatically. So now, when you implement test class, so you need to use annotation at the rate as test before the class. And if you create any method, so for that as well, you need to create, uh, you need to write this at the rate as test annotation. Then so we need to uh, test the rating. So here uh, I'm going to uh, write this method update rating test. Now inside this test class, first we need to create the data, then we need to apply DML, and then we need to query the record, like whether they are uh, properly updated or not uh, because of that trigger. And then we need to apply assert. So first of all, I'm creating the data. Right, so what I can do, I'm just copying this piece of code. So here you can see uh, this list is created. Then through loop, I am creating five account records, adding them into list. Now, after this, I'm going to write insert ACC list. Now in test class, you can write these two statements as well. Test dot start test and mm -hmm. test dot, sorry, stop test. So why we use these statements? So for example, in your test class, if you have multiple methods, so right now I have only one method, but if I have one more method, so this way, if I have uh, more than one methods, so if you want governor limits uh, should be reinitiated for each method. So in that case, whenever you perform any uh, DML operation, so you can enclose them in inside test.startTest and test.stopTest. So for this method, fresh set of governor limit will be available. For another method, if you are using test.startTest, test.stopTest, so uh, governor limits will be refreshed. If you don't use test.startTest and test.stopTest, so whole test class, whatever number of methods are there, so they will be like using uh, one set of governor limit. So I'm just removing this code because it is not required right now. So here I created sample data, then insert data, right? So always remember whenever you create any test class. So first of all, you need to create the data, then apply a DML operation so that trigger will be initiated. Now, after that, you need to query the updated data. So I'm creating list of account, updated account list equals to, then here I'm writing select ID rating from account where ID equals to ACC list zero dot ID. So what I'm doing, I'm actually querying the first record that is available in this ACC list. If that particular record is updated, it means other records are updated successfully. 
right? And if you want to query all the records, so that is also possible. So now here, apply a cert condition. So you need to write system dot assert equals now here. So if I write it again, so here you can see we need to write expected value and then actual value. Okay. So expected value is hot. And actual will be available in this updated ACC list of zero dot rating, right? So this way I implemented this uh, assert equals okay, it is saying variable does not exist. So, okay. Uh, here I need to add D as well. So it is updated account list. Now uh, both are matching. Okay, so this test class is saved now, right? So here at top right corner, you can see when I added at the rate is test and save this test class. So this run test button is available. If I go to this class here, you won't be seeing that run test button. So now, you can open this and click on test here. The test result will be available. So just click on run test. So test class is executing. So if you see this green tick, so you can be happy like your test class passed successfully. Uh, we, we implemented one method. So here you can see total one. It means it is passing. And at bottom right corner, you can see account trigger is 100% covered. Account trigger handler is 100% covered, right? And if you want to see the code coverage from here, so just open the trigger, click on this drop down, and here you can see all test 100%. So, whatever code uh, that is covered through test class, it will be available in view. If it is not covered, it will be available in red color, highlighted in red color. If I go to this account trigger handler, so here if I click on all tests, so you can see all lines are covered. So, this way, Always remember whenever you create your test class, so uh, create bulk data and then uh, apply assert equals as well. Because if assert equal is not passing, it means your test class is failing, right? So this is all about like how uh, we can implement trigger, trigger handler and a trigger handler test class so that we can have the code coverage. So I hope uh, with this, demonstration you have understood this scenario